Well, as the full picture of Hurricane Helene's devastation comes to light, the American Red Cross is ready to respond. Recovery efforts are underway right here in Georgia, in Florida, North Carolina, South Carolina, and in Tennessee. Jim Tate is the CFO at Delaney Industries and a Red Cross board member. He joins us now with more. Thank you so much for being here today. Thank you for having me. Well, we're talking about people helping and our community pitching in, but what you don't need is you know, items like food and clothing. You're asking for monetary donations. Absolutely. Uh, the Red Cross is, you know, we have uh, pr provided a massive uh, response to this uh, devastating hurricane throughout the whole Southeast. Mm -hmm. uh, there are so many, I mean, I have friends and family that don't have power here locally as well as in, in North Carolina. Uh, what, the, what the Red Cross can do is get uh, monetary issues, get money directly to uh, the, the individuals who need it to get allow them to uh, get the basic needs uh, that they're missing. We can help them, you know, through shelters, uh, giving them uh, overnight stays, food, uh, those types of things. But um, not looking for, uh, you know, clothing. Uh, there are other yeah. other organizations that we we partner with to provide those those basic needs. Yeah. So so far. The good news is that you've raised more than $95,000 already to help people affected. You mentioned North Carolina. We saw the heartbreaking video coming from Asheville. Absolutely. Roads gone, homes demolished, right, uh, right here in Georgia as well. Uh, I know a lot of people at home are wondering, what can I do? How can I help? You have a lot of volunteers on the ground. Do you need more volunteers? Absolutely. Uh, there's. If you uh, reach out to the Red Cross through the, uh, our website, you can volunteer. You have to get certified. Uh, you'll have to go through a little bit of training, uh, but we can definitely use volunteers. Uh, we definitely also need, uh, when you think of, a lot of people just think of blood uh, when it comes yeah. to the Red Cross, but I'll be honest with you, uh, we've had to cancel so many blood drives because of the hurricane uh, that we're probably you know, 2,500 uh, blood donations short. So if, if you can uh, go out and you know, use the mobile app, I even have it here, where you can you know, log in okay. and uh, schedule a blood drive, a blood donation. Uh, that blood will get to the people that, that need it. Uh, you know, there's so, so many folks in, uh, in, in North Carolina, as you talk, where the roads are impassable. Uh, they can't, you know, we have to get them what they need. And when we talk about um, the recovery going right. on right now, this is not a one or two day thing. This is not a one or two week thing. It may take months. Absolutely. Uh, it's in, and the Red Cross will be there. Uh, our, uh, again, I'm a volunteer board member uh, supporting, the, supporting the Red Cross. Uh, all the employees, they're out. They're, they're out getting, you know, 24-7, uh, yeah, putting the hard work in to, to help the community, to help uh, provide mental health support, provide shelters. They're, they're trying to do everything that we can in any way. Um, uh, to support these folks. Yeah, and, and so many areas, so many people in need right now. Good news also is that WSAV is teaming up with the American Red Cross today. Yes. At three o'clock, we are doing an online sort of telethon. Correct. Yeah, I'm looking at that. I think that's going to be wonderful. Uh, you know, the best way to, to help folks who are in need right now is through financial donations. Uh, I've reached out to my, my networks, yeah. uh, sent, you know, emails and, and uh, have requested folks to participate with this telethon is, is going to be wonderful. Uh, you know, David Hart uh, is, a, um, is on our board, so it's wonderful to have the support of WSAV. Uh, but I'll tell you that, uh, you know, I had a gentleman who sent me uh, an email uh, at, at, at my request, you know, was requesting support, put, linked him up to the website you're going to announce. And uh, he came back and said, I want to give a thousand dollar donation. Wow. And by the way, my company does matching donations. Wow. So I'm going to wow. put it, submit that. So you know, do a second donation. So, and, and every dollar counts. It does. Um, all of us are putting in. Um, and I feel, I feel blessed that I'm able to stand here and, uh, or sit here and talk about that. Uh, but I'm not sitting around without power, uh, you know, having to live out of a, a hotel or out of a shelter. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's, you know, we're blessed here in Chatham County. Uh, we still, although so many people still don't have power, uh, uh, the devastation that we're seeing ev everywhere else, you know, we need all the help we can get. Yeah, and when we all pitch in, we can make a difference. Jim Tate, thank you so much for joining us today. Absolutely. And here's the information that Jim talked about. WSAV's parent company, Nexstar, is holding a relief drive in partnership with the American Red Cross to help those impacted by Hurricane Helene. You can scan the QR code on your screen right there. That will take you to the website where you can donate. Today at 3 o'clock, we will also stream a live digital telethon on our website at WSAV.com.